About 100,000 people die from drug overdoses each year in the United States, most from opioid use. To combat the epidemic, the White House has announced a nationwide call to action named Challenge to Save Lives from Overdose. The initiative calls on public and private sectors, ranging from education to transportation, to increase training on and access to a medication that can reverse an opioid overdose. It's called naloxone, also known by the brand name Narcan. Neera Tandon is the domestic policy advisor to President Joe Biden. Our focus is trying to flood the zone and to make naloxone accessible so that when someone has an acute attack, uh, their lives can be saved. And I should say we're very proud of the fact that the Food and Drug Administration during the course of this administration has uh, put, made sure that naloxone is over the counter. So it's accessible to by all Americans. Cannon also says the Biden administration has invested over a hundred billion dollars on tackling the overdose crisis and coordinated with other countries to disrupt the flow of illegal drugs into the U.S. Mexico and China are the primary source countries for fentanyl and fentanyl-related substances, according to the Drug Enforcement Administration. We have deployed new technologies at the border to ensure that we are uh, able to interdict fentanyl, but we really also are working with the government in Mexico to ensure that they are taking the actions they need to reduce the flow of fentanyl, opioids, etc. We are also engaged directly in our bilateral relationship with China. A lot of the ingredients for fentanyl are coming from China into Mexico. Still, some analysts are calling for more emphasis on overdose prevention. That everybody is aware of the risks, even, even the people who don't think of themselves as users. Um, that there's access to long-term recovery services through housing, through uh, post-criminal justice uh, interventions, through um, employment assistance. Victoria St. Arnold would like to see more grief counseling and efforts to combat the stigma of drug addiction. VOA first met her when she lost her husband in 2021 to an overdose of pain medication laced with fentanyl. I just felt like everybody was judging our situation and judging my husband, judging me for being with my husband. And it's very hard to go to try to get resources and assistance when you constantly meet that barrier of somebody's opinion. The White House plans to ramp up activities for its challenge to save lives from overdose through the summer when a spike in overdoses is often seen. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.